A town gripped by mass hysteria, uncontrollable dancing and death. Was it a curse, a disease, or something more sinister? Welcome to Searching History, where we unravel the mysteries of our fascinating past. Today, we delve into an extraordinary historical event that remains shrouded in perplexity, the Dancing Plague of 1518. Let's journey back in time to explore this bizarre and haunting phenomenon that swept through the medieval town of Strasbourg. In the summer of 1518, in the quaint town of Strasbourg, situated along the Rhine River in the Holy Roman Empire, a peculiar and seemingly uncontrollable epidemic gripped the community. It wasn't a plague of illness or infection, but rather a plague of dance. Imagine this, men, women, and children took to the streets, compelled by an irresistible urge to dance. The dancers would twirl, leap, and gyrate for hours, days, and even weeks without rest. It was a spectacle that both fascinated and terrified the community. The origins of this dancing plague are as mysterious as the phenomenon itself. Some accounts suggest that it all began when a woman named Frau Trophea stepped into the streets and began dancing without explanation. Soon others joined her, caught in a trance-like state. The numbers grew exponentially, with hundreds of people participating in this bizarre dance marathon. Local authorities, perplexed and concerned, sought explanations from physicians, theologians and scholars, but answers were elusive. Physicians of the time proposed various theories. Some attributed the dancing to hot blood or melancholy, while others believed it was a form of divine punishment. Religious fervor and superstitions were prevalent, and people sought salvation through more dancing. The town responded with religious processions, hoping to exorcise the spirits causing the relentless dancing. The dancing plague had a profound impact on Strasbourg. The continuous dance disrupted daily life, leading to exhaustion, dehydration, and even deaths. It strained resources and challenged the fabric of the community, raising questions about the limits of human endurance and the nature of collective behavior. Today, historians and scholars propose various theories to explain the dancing plague of 1518. Some suggest it was a form of mass hysteria or a reaction to societal stresses. Others explore the possibility of ergot poisoning, a fungus known to cause hallucinations which could have contaminated the local grain supply. While the true cause remains elusive, the dancing plague stands as a testament to the complexities of the human psyche and the enigmatic nature of historical events. As we conclude our exploration of the dancing plague of 1518, we are left with more questions than answers. What compelled the people of Strasbourg to dance to the point of exhaustion and death? Was it a manifestation of social, psychological, or physiological factors? Join us next time as we continue our journey through the intriguing tapestry of history here on Searching History. If you enjoyed this journey into the past, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest documentaries.